hello guys once again you all are welcome to this channel so today i have come in front of you with a new tutorial video so in this video i am going to show you how the municipal drawing can be designed in your autocad right so before starting this video please do subscribe to our channel and press the bell icon for getting more updates and please watch this video till the end if you are interested to learn how to draw a municipal drawing so here you can see this is a completely sanctioned design sanctioned plan so this is already approved plan right so here you can see these are my layouts layouts of all the these these are my site plan you can see this is my site plan so what includes in the site plan i'm going to show you so before starting this site plan i'm going to show you the key layout so here this is the location map or key plan you can say so this is you know this is the design i have which is made in pokhara so here this is the location map and you know the location map cannot be in a scale so here this is my 2 pm and this is my sherry choke from the sherry choke the right is to paidam and the left is to pm and the straight if you go to the north to cable car station so the way to the cable car station the right of the right of the side of the road it's a proposed site you can see this hatch portion is our proposed site so here this is our site and these are the location map so um, after this i'm going to show you the site map so have you seen this is my site plan so this is my in the site site plan the area the plane theory means it's a built up area no actually this is the complete area of the this you can see area of 926.32 square feet is the built up area of this building plan right so here you can see these are the porch area and this is the 20 feet 8 inches from the north this is the north direction you can see here north i hope you can see the cursor this is the north south west east right so according to this this plan has been met so here from the south directions and this is our proposed plan so in the site plan we have to build a plan so we need to construct a building in this site plan so here the you can see from here this i'm going to show you by just pressing the double a command i am going to show you the proposed building which is going to be constructed over here so i will i will show you double a enter select this corner from this corner to this corner to this corner you can see from here here also this is our proposed site plan right from here to here see this is our site plan i have shown you means actually this in this area this is site plan and this is our site here this is completely our site but in this site our proposed building area should be this much right so it's a plot area would be means built up area would be 926.32 square feet in this right so here this is our from parking areas and some hatch portions as you can see some of the trees plan are there so now in this site plan we have made its ground floor plan so see this is our ground floor plan so i have made like this so by seeing its plan one two three four and one two three it has 12 columns right you can see this this is our this rectangular black thatch is our columns of this plan and you can see this is 44 feet 9 inches is our south and 
this this is 21 feet 11 inches is our east and this is our west and this is our north so here here this is you know this is shop area see two shop is there means two shutter shop is there from which direction from west right and the entrance is from north so this is our sorry this is our south right this is our this main road is towards the south direction so here this is our stair area so as planned as for the municipal drawing you know we have to leave some leave some spaces for for sanction plan we have to, there is some uh, some municipality rules right for keeping windows like 1.5 meter for window for ventilation what is the borehole means what is the water tank how much space should be needed to be placed if you need need this all specification i will suggest you in another video you have to comment if you want then i will definitely make a video on that those topics so what are the setbacks setback criteria what is the row what is the right of way and what are the uh, windows bylaws windows keeping distance for and in that you can see this is from the main door you entry from here this is our living space and the and the as per the vastu you know kitchen should be southeast southeast portion and here our stair should should in on the way this is towards east and it should be always clockwise directions our stair should always have clockwise directions to to maintain the vastu and see in this one bedroom one bedroom one kitchen and one dining spaces one living room and one toilet here this is the common toilet and two shops are there these these were for the for the ground floor right now come to the sec first floor so this is our the plan of first floor so in the ground floor there were two shop were there but here it's not the shop here two bedrooms are there so these are the bedrooms one two bedrooms and this also our this would be our living room and this our the void they have kept here void for the lighting purpose because because the north side is packed so to keeping vent vent from the inside like you know in the toilet ventilation is mandatory so we need to keep void over there and and one two these are the two attack one master bedroom and and this is our balcony area this is the one master bedroom and these are our common toilets this is living room this is our one bedroom with balcony and this is our stage so here balconies here balconies you can see by seeing the plan you may understand if you have any queries regarding the understanding of the plan i will definitely solve so so first floor area has been extended towards to the 995.62 you know the what what's that mean it means that the balcony area should have also covered so it has been extended to 995.62 square feet so now come to the second floor area in second floor area it, it is it is not cover all of the areas right here here it is all covered area but here it has been left for the terrace like you know under terrace this is the terrace area and these are the plan of plan of this is our plan plan for second floor so in the second floor only kitchens is there family room uza room toilets and store no bedroom are there balcony in the kitchen balcony has been kept right so here what you need uh, here here you can see this this is the second floor plan and in the second floor it's it's floor area is 714 0.72 square feet and you know the municipal area municipal design says that our scale should 1 by 8 inches equal to 1 feet so, so if you do not consider this scale your plant will not be sanctioned so here 
these were the plan these were the three floor plans one means ground floor first floor and second floor now come to the elevation i will not show you the section right now after the elevation i will show you the section plan so this is our north elevation see if you stand towards the north and what you will visible so your floor plan will looks like this elevation from north direction if you stand from the south your this is your main main entrance right so this is the main door south is your facing of the block so this is our the this is our south elevation in the same way west elevation you know it has two shutter these are the shutters you can see this is and this is our shutters and this is the east elevation it, east elevation has also this type of looks or outlooks elevation it has you know it has the balconies it has balconies with terrace so after this i am going to show you the section so how the section would show so go to the plan you can see the plan section at xx so before going to see the section you have to go to the you need to go to the plan and we need to we need to cross the we need to section it so here you can see x and x mind this always when you are going to cut the plan or you want to show the section of the plan you have to cut towards the stair see this is our stair we need to show the stair also right so here we have cut the plan like this and and what you can see from if you stand if you stand here and then see what you can see from your half portion of this balconies you can see here half of the window you can see sorry this is door okay this is door but the window we are cutting so window you can see and this wall you can visible from wall you can visible here so i'm going to show you what what are the things you can see so from this see these are the shop right okay this is the first floor plan here you need to ground floor in ground floor what the what the things you can see i'm going to show you this is the soap shop so here here the section towards x-axis direction right shop shop in in ground floor you can see the shop in first floor you can see the bedroom and this is the lower terrace so this is the extended portion i have shown you balcony area here yeah. this is balcony this balcony is showing here and this is the this is the this is the shop here you can see the door okay, in ground floor you need to go see this door this you will see but it is showing from the this side which door this door you can see here right so this door here the door invisible and here the main door here also door and here the main door and the stair you know half portion of the stair has been also cut the stair also you can see from here the stair you can see so see if you stand here and if you cut the if you cut the building what are the things you can see that only can be shown in the section plan so this is the sectional elevation you can see here these are the portion you can see so the main thing in this this is our plinth this is the plinth beam you can see this this area these are the plinth beams and see and this is your underground this is the ground level here plus minus two feet four inches ground from the level okay it from the ground it has it has two feet four inches level has been down right inside the ground and this is zero plinth level so plus two feet four inches is your plinth level after this here mid landing level is 4 feet 10 inches this landing you can see this landing is 4 feet 10 inches and after this this is the first floor level is 9 feet 4 inches and in the same way these these portions are balconies so here you can see you uh, you will understand this everything so the main reason to show you this municipal drawing this should be in the proper manner and we have to show this everything and now the last but not the least is the opening schedule openings of the schedule what you have been uh, including or you have been providing in the plan 
what do you mean constructing building so door what type of door are there main door normal d1 d2 they are the nomination of the doors see four type of door is there md main door d1 d2 d3 this type then sizes of the doors here the sizes of the doors four feet and seven feet six inches the doors four numbers of the door how many numbers are there in the doors up to the second floor plan means how many main doors are there in the building so these are the the size of the door is four feet four feet into seven feet six inches with four numbers in this building total four main door will be there what type of d1 door size is mentioned here the seven number of door is there so windows windows two type of shutter means two shutters are there the, the shutters dimensions are also different so this opening schedule you have to show like this so these are the these are the municipal type of drawing if you want to construct or if you want to if you are a good learner if you are a new to new to autocad and you are going to learn the how to drawing a section plan or approved building plan so these are the approved plans so if you design like this and now you have to mention some of the key words so if you these are the keywords you, you can add out in this in this empty box and here like uh, the client name the locations the building type the details of the site plans the date the scale these things you need to mention to sanction the plan and for this all to our today topic and if you are if you are interested to suggest me any kind of other videos i will definitely dare regarding autocad some civil engineering part of point of view i will dare to solve it okay thank you thanks for watching